getting home from school along Dunlera's new coastal mobility route. Motor traffic is now one way on one lane with a temporary wooden curb dividing the road. The council says this was built to meet public demand. What we were seeing uh, in May was there was a huge increase in cyclists, about 100% compared with last year. Um, we felt it was necessary from a safety point of view to put this in place. Some cyclists come just to enjoy the route and the views. But most are using it to get somewhere, like work or school. I think it's very good for cars as well so they can see where they're, like, the cyclists are going. And the cyclists find it very, I think the cyclists will find it very good too because it, it goes both ways so nobody needs to squeeze in or anything. So while many people are loving Dunleary's new coastal mobility route, that point of view is far from unanimous. Even for the scenic aspect of it, people don't think about the farm, but where people come out here and drive, go, oh, they go the scenic route, they can't do it now. It's a joke, because tonight we're getting round and I seen an ambulance stop there the other day. And it was, I take somebody out of the, um, I don't know, out of a house. There's about 30 cars backed up, nobody could cross over because of the um, curb for the cyclists. However, the council says it's a case of win-win, as some traffic is evaporating as people change to two wheels. What we've seen on recent data we've collected is that the route into Dunleary from the city, uh, average journey times have decreased from 13 minutes to 9 minutes on the busiest day, which is a Sunday. And what's really interesting about that is that that also coincides with the busiest day for cycling. This is a temporary measure, but there is no definite end date. Dunleary Ratdown Council says its future will ultimately be decided by local residents and their elected representatives. Coleman O'Sullivan, RTE News.